Hi, I am Sanjay Lard. Welcome to one more video of special biotonic. In today's session, we will talk about chromatin, chromosome and chromatid. Students, many times we get confused between these synonymous words, but there is a huge difference between all these three words. Let us understand difference between that. Now, when you look at a cell, cell has two parts, one is nucleus and second is cytoplasm. Now this nucleus enclosed genetic material which is in three form chromatin, chromosome and chromatid. Now chromosomes are of two types autosomes and sex chromosome. Autosome control mostly the body character whereas sex chromosome control sex of the individual. Now these chromatins are visible during interphase. They are long thin thread like structures. Now chromosome, chroma means color and soma means body. Now these chromosomes are visible during dividing phase, especially prophase onwards. Whereas the term chromatid is referred to the genetic material found during the anaphase. We will see the detailed part of it afterwards. Now these are the actual photographs of uh, mitosis stages of onion root tips. Now with this pictures what we want to understand is the type of genetic material found during the dividing phase and interphase. Now this is a cell where you can see the nucleus clearly visible. So in interphase we can see the genetic material as chromatin which are long thin thread like structures. During anaphase we can see these chromatids are going away. This is also anaphase where chromatids are going away. So chromatid is a term referred during anaphase whereas in case of metaphase we can see the chromosome. So students remember chromatin during anaph like interphase chromatids during say anaphase whereas chromosomes is a term used during say metaphase. Now student this is a cell. The cell contain this nucleolus and this is the nucleoplasm. The white portion is called as nucleoplasm. Now this is one pair of chromosome I have shown for the sake of understanding. Now this one chromosome pair is coming from father. This is coming from mother. So this pair of chromosome is called as homologous chromosome. Now actually the nucleoplasm contain this 23 pairs of chromosome. Now up to 22 pair they are called as autosomes whereas the last pair is called as sex chromosome. Now we know that in male the sex chromosomes are of XX type whereas in case of female in male it is XY type and in female it is XX type that we know already. Okay, now chromatins are visible during say interphase. Now what are chromatins? They are long thin thread like structure visible during interphase. Now these chromatin with the help of histone and non-histone protein start condensing to form chromosomes. So these are the chromosomes which are visible during say dividing phase. So chromatin condenses to form chromosome which are visible during say prophase onwards. Now these are the chromosomes which are visible specifically in say metaphase. Now bit of this information we have seen in one of the previous video. You can check that in the I section here. Now these two arms of the same chromosome are called as sister chromatids. These two arms of the same chromosome are called as sister chromatid and chromatids of homologous chromosomes are called as non sister chromatids. Now remember here the genetic material in sister chromatid is same genetic material in this sister chromatid is same whereas the genetic material in non sister chromatid is maybe same or it may be different. Now here the two chromatids are joined together by centromere. Two chromatids are joined together by centromere. Remember this two word. Now the chromatid is a term used for anaphasic stage. Here these sister chromatid they get separated during anaphase. So chromatid is a term for anaphasic structures. So I'll repeat again. Chromatin is long thin thread like structure visible during interphase. These chromatins condenses to form chromosome which are visible during say prophase onwards. Now this is a metaphasic chromosomes and chromatid is a term specifically for the separated chromosomes. These are called as what say chromatids visible during anaphase. So students I hope you are understanding the terms like chromatin, chromosome and chromatid. Now 
this is a chromosome uh, here the position of the centromere is in the center therefore it appears v shaped that is called as say, metacentric chromosome now the part of the chromosome above the centromere now this portion is called as centromere the part of the chromosome above the centromere is called as p arm whereas the part of the chromosome below the centromere is called as q arm now when you twist the chromosome at the centromere it appears v shaped so it is metacentric is v shaped now in case of sub metacentric it appears like l shaped so sub metacentric is l shaped now in sub metacentric the centromere is located slightly away from center so that is sub metacentric in case of say acrocentric the centromere is located towards the end not exactly ended towards the end therefore it appears j shape it appears j shape whereas in case of last the centromere is placed at the end therefore it is say telocentric telo means end the centromere is located towards the end so that appears i shape so based on the position of centromere we have metacentric submetacentric acrocentric and telocentric so students i hope you are understanding all these terms and especially the words like chromatin chromosome and chromatin so at the end i request you all to like my channel subscribe it and please do press bell icon and thank you for watching this video